Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com and today we're going to be looking at a pretty neat little tool. It's a uh, non-impact punch-down tool uh, compared to an impact uh, punch-down tool which is uh, considerably different. This tool is great to use. It's not a one-time tool and throw it away and we do have this on the website. Now this is a one-time tool. You know, it has a little stripper portion right there but there's your punch-down for 110. Now this 110 punch down tool is more for like let's say someone who's doing uh, punch downs occasionally you know once a month or or once every three months it's a nice thing you can put it right in your toolbox if you look there real close you can see there's a little blade it's a replaceable blade so when it gets dull you can order new ones it's a 110 but it doesn't have that snapping punch down effort that you see on a top of the line punch down tool still works though and what we're going to do uh, right now is demonstrate how to use it. I'm going to start with a puck and this puck here. We sell this on the website and this is really nice because when you put your jack in there it holds the jack firmly in place and you can use your hand as you're punching down or if you're laying on top of a carpet the jack's not going to be wiggling all over the place. It gives you a foundation. So right now we're going to take a piece of cable and we're going to use it to punch down. Now this is a voice jack we're going to be punching down and again on a voice jack if it's most of the time you just use your first pair your blue pair that makes it an RJ11 that's the two center pins that it comes out on the next two pins on either side is called an RJ14 fax machines just need one pair some of the older phone systems needed a two pairs it's rare that they'd ever need three pair Okay, here's a better angle and you can see the cutting blade is going to come down. Now, it's not a spring-loaded punch down, so it takes some effort to push it down. But you see how it neatly cuts the wire right off. It pushes it into the portion of the jack that actually holds it in place. The next punch down tool I'm just going to demonstrate here is really what we call a throwaway punch down tool. And it's a little, the little yellow one. Once you punch it down, you need to get in there and you need to clip it. It does not have a cutter, so you have to clip it. Okay, and then the last punch down tool we're going to show is a spring loaded punch down tool. Okay, this is the top of the line punch down tool, and you'll see the difference. Um, that snapping sound is a, a spring that, when you push it down, snaps it in place. And if you're doing lots of punch down, this is really the best. The nice thing about the top of the line one, too, is that the blades are replaceable and movable. But here's the 110 punch down, and here's what you call a 66 punch down. And one end it has the cutting blade, and the other end has this the push down when you don't want to cut the wire. Nice thing about this tool, too, is you can set your impact for high and low. It has a blade storage. Uh, compartment in the back. You see the blade drops down. It doesn't come out. So this is a top of the line tool, but it, of course it's going to cost a lot more than the other tools that we showed you. There's your cutting edge right there for your 110. Your 110 is going to be your computer cables, it's going to be your patch panels, it's going to be your jacks today or 110. Um, 66 block is pretty much used for a voice. You see that's still used today in a lot of phone rooms. But anyway, these are all the punch down tools. We have all these punch down tools on our website. And again, the difference on this one is it's a non impact punch down tool, and the blade is not removable. So that's what you get. But it's a nice little tool. It's nice and handy to do. Uh, sometimes computer guys doing work on computers need to uh, check a jack. This is a nice tool to, to have in your toolbox uh, to be checking jacks with. If you're just recabling your own home, this is a nice tool to have. It's nice and clean. It does the cutting of the cable. The cheaper tool does not cut cables. So for a few dollars more, literally, you can get you know something that's a little more proficient. And of course, the top of the line is an impact punch down tool and it does the job really nice. All these products can be bought on our website at www.cablesupply.com.